We are backstage at the new home of the Brumley Gospel Sing here at the Mabey Center in Tulsa, Oklahoma. With me, Chris Allman of Greater Vision. And Chris, we want to welcome you to Gospel Music today. Hey, I'm glad to be here. It's nice to yes, see sir. you. Yes, sir. We want to ask you about some current uh, Greater Vision uh, projects. All right. Um, you go back quite a ways with Greater Vision with a little break in between. I do. How did you get involved in the group? You know, I, I was raised listening to this music. Uh, I was nine years old. My father was a pastor. Um, had the Cathedral Quartet there at the church. And that was my first encounter with gospel music, was seeing the cathedrals. And that had a great influence on my life. Of course, you know, watching Kirk Talley sing, that was the lineup then. It was Kirk, Mark, yeah. uh, Glenn and George, Roger Bennett on the piano. And uh, those guys were new in the group back then, Yeah. you know? So watching that, growing up, loving it, and always going to see them. Anytime they came around, and they got it got to the place where they knew me. You know, Mark Trammell knew me. Yeah. I'd go to the record. Uh, George knew me. All the guys knew me. So I was kind of in tune to what was going on. I would hear what was going on, people leaving groups, people ch making changes, uh -huh. things like that. So, um, okay, I was singing with my family group, the Almonds, my sister and another gentleman. And we were actually practicing when I got word that Gerald and Mark were forming a group. And the person, this is uh, funny, the person who got me that info was Savannah Faust. You remember her? No. Okay, no. she wrote Somebody Touched Me for oh, the Cathedral Quartet. All right. And she went to my father's church. <laughs> so there I had an in, you know. Yeah. So yeah. she told me that, of course, I, right after um, the almonds were done practicing that day, I went and I called Mark's house, Mark Trammell's house. He was at um, Praise Gathering, I believe, at the time. But Larissa got him a message. He called me back, said I'd really like to try out. And that, that's how that, that happened. You know, mm -hmm. um, I knew Mark really good. I drove to Morristown, me and my wife, tried out. I was the first one who tried out. And uh, after a few months, a couple of months, they called me back, and it was between me and another uh, young man, and uh, gave them another audition, and it worked out. So that was back in 1990, of course. Yeah, yeah. That's so unique about the world of Southern Gospel, mm -hmm. where the connection between the, the fans and the singers yeah. is so personal. Yeah, it really is. Um, we talk about that a lot, by the way, on the bus. It's really the only genre of music where you're going to find the actual artists out there at the record table yeah. selling their own things, you yeah. know. Uh, I don't know if it was ever that way in any other genres, but, you know, still is that way uh, here. And, and I think it means a lot to the fans. I think, uh, I think more than the music, they really want to come to talk with us, I you know what I mean, and, and us talk with them and yeah. get to know them that way. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a special, it's a special connection between us and the and the people who like this music. Yeah. Now after all these years with a trio, we've just been hearing so much about you're in a quartet now. That's right, <laughs> that's right. Hey, and it's a, you know, I guess it would, I would say it's a dream come true. You know, I told you I went and tried out with Greater Vision, and what's funny is around that very same time, of course, obviously Mark left. So there was a place there. Mm -hmm. And back then I wasn't singing tenor. I was singing with my wife, um, not my wife, my sister, and other guys. So I was singing the middle part, yeah. more, more like a high lead part, if you will. So um, I remember I called, I called Glenn as well to see if I could possibly get an audition. They had already hired Scott. Um, so don't tell Gerald and Mark that I tried to go out on them there. Right. But you have to have a backup plan. That's right. So yeah, it was a dream of mine. I always wanted to sing with the Cathedral Quartet, but that never that never happened, and that's okay. Uh, but now, you know, this many years later, yeah. I'm singing with, you know, some of those from the Cathedral Quartet. Mm -hmm. Mark, uh, Gerald, and myself, Rodney, who sings with Greater Vision, and yeah. Pat Barker. Yeah. And we are the second half quartet, and it's, yeah. a, man, it's a blast. Yeah, and a new CD. We have a new CD and are already working on another one. Is that right? That's right. <laughs> All right. Greater Vision has uh, some new projects going on, too. Tell me about that. The latest things that we've released, uh, the very latest thing is a, is a CD set. It's a two set, two CD set. It's called Silver. Mm -hmm. And it's a real unique project. If you followed Greater Vision for this many years, it's really neat to put the first disc, disc in and just start listening because it goes all the way back to 1990, and it plays uh, it plays the most popular song 
from every year mm -hmm. since we've started. So, and it, they're the original cuts, they're not remakes. So you hear us on On a Journey, me, Mark, and Gerald, you know, and on and so forth, and you hear the group changes, and then back me, all the way back to where I've come back, you know, and so you really can follow uh, the the group that way and, and their musical history through yeah. that. It's a two CD set, it's really neat. That's a great yeah. project. Chris, we want to thank you very much for being with us on Gospel oh, Music My pleasure. Today. Thank you for having me.